welcome during mm. this holiday season Ooh. is of course traveling now it doesn't really matter if you guys are going somewhere you know near or somewhere far uh, especially if you're traveling with family yep wow oh <laughs> tell uh, me about it yeah the pay amount of patience you guys have to have when you're traveling with family is mm -hmm. enormous uh, so we're actually gonna ask a professional traveler right over here yes, exactly. uh, he what he has his own company he yeah. rides he travels he does every single thing uh, except for hosting yeah Hopefully Basically, I hope he doesn't because he's actually a brother, my brother from another mother. We have in the studio here at Junaidi, travel writer from Gaia Travel. Hey, Ed, nice to see you again, man. Hello, Mio. Hello, Zoe. Um, I, I you love know. your shine, you know. I mean, yeah. you know we, we, we share yeah. that resemblance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that you guys are also matching. Is like... <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we well, yeah. called beforehand, you know. We, we called beforehand yeah, yeah. just to make sure that you know, we, we got on the same groove. But yeah, Ed, <clears> uh, yes. isn't it great right now that travelling, at least in Malaysia and now the world, it's now open, we're able to do that. How great that has been. Yeah, we're, we're totally, totally grateful. Honestly, we've been really looking forward to uh, the opening of the travel industry, mm -hmm. especially because travel industry was like the first one, travel and tourism was like the first one of being affected by yeah. the yeah. pandemic. And then it's like the last one being you know, yeah. being allowed to operate, right? So yeah, yeah we, we love what we're seeing right now. Mm -hmm. Even if, even though like uh, whenever you go now during the weekend or during public holiday, the traffic is like madness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I went to uh, Rumbau yesterday for yeah. a wedding. The traffic typically it took me about one hour and a half to, to go there. But yesterday was like almost three hours. Yeah. It was crazy. Three hours? Yes. The plus highway is like crazy. Okay. I, I guess Note that's... to everyone not to do your wedding outside of your own house, yeah. wherever you live, right? No, I do have crazy. a comment on that because, you know, like as yeah. much as we are very grateful that the mm. fact that, you know, the travel industry is open, yeah. tourism is open, there's always, uh, you know, things that you need to be grateful of. Yes, you do come uh, with the fact that you're able to visit all these places, mm -hmm. but then you're stuck with having traffic again. But I don't mind. I mean, the fact that if yeah. you are stuck in traffic for three hours, but at the end of your travels, mm -hmm. you're able to actually witness that beautiful waterfall or yeah. that you know, gorgeous stream of river. True. I think that uh, is worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For us, uh, it's kind of the key indicator of that uh, the mm -hmm. tourism is back uh, mm -hmm. uh, booming yeah, like again, before, right? but I think it's like double, triple compared <laughs> to the, before the pandemic. Yeah. You know, because right now, especially like uh, we've spoke before, right? Zoe, yeah. with Zoe, just now, um, uh, less people is traveling abroad right now, mm -hmm. and more people is traveling domestically. So mm -hmm. that's why the traffic is crazy right yeah. now, and then uh, almost uh, everywhere, even though the 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 premium places destinations is kind of very occupied right now, almost 100%. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I had to, I mean, I've been seeing on my timeline itself, people have been complaining about the traffic, yeah. you know, going out and all that. But since we're, you know, speaking about so something like a road trip, right? Yeah. So my favorite thing on a road trip is actually uh, games, road trip games. So do you have a personal game that you like to play in the car? Um, something that, you know, you want to chit chat with your friends, be it 20 questions, mm -hmm. be it, uh, you know, I Spy. I Spy is so old. I don't know if you, <laughs> I don't know if like people watching who know what is I Spy. Um, you know, uh, whether or not you're playing the ABC game. Uh, so yeah. what are some of your favorite um, car, games. car games? Car games. We usually karaoke. <laughs> I love it. Yes. That can, that's also an activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes we can finish like the whole concert. Yeah. Uh, there you go. What are some of your favorite artists to sing in the car? Like, are you more of a, I, mm. honestly, me in the car, I'm more of a like rock up kind of girl. Oh, yeah. oh, it's so oh, best nice. to like, you know, just scream and kind of like, <laughs> well, like actually, that's, of that's almost accurate. Mm. Those are, those are the songs that we really sing in the oh, car, yeah. in the car yeah. you know? I mean, those are the go-to songs yeah. anyway. I mean, like, people of our generation, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> coming back to the topic at hand, because right, again, right. we do want to talk about, you know, the tips and tricks of travelling. Um, and does it, I mean, how, how different it is? I mean, like, um, Zoe, for instance, you know, yeah. having a small family, just uh, Zoe and her yeah. husband versus myself, who has, like, you know, two kids to come along, one uh, a 12-year-old and one is an infant. What kind of tips and tricks that you can actually give me specifically first, mm -hmm. should I want to go out uh, traveling with my family? Yeah, um, traveling with family, the trouble is um, always about the accommodation mm -hmm. right. and uh, experiencing the, the, the activities uh, during the traveling. All right. So 
what I can say is um, you should pick a destination where you can involve the whole family mm -hmm. uh, that can accommodate the whole family. Like, you know, uh, kids love like Legoland, like yeah. theme, theme parks, parks yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, like my daughter, she loves, she really loves islands. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I always pick islands uh, because uh, islands, you know, um, places like Langkawi and Perhentia and, you know, mm -hmm. I can just sit there and then do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there are plenty of activities offered here yes. at the beach yes. itself. Yes. Uh, when I went, yeah. You know, everything. I did the, uh, when I went back to KK for Chinese New Year, we, I, so I brought my whole like in-laws to come over. So it's actually really, really fun, you know, planning a trip for uh, people who are not from my hometown. Yeah. Mm. Uh, do you have any tips for people who are currently doing that, you know, uh, since we're like planning out our holidays, uh, yeah. especially those of you guys who, you know, be it you're from Sabah, Sarawak, Penang, Langkawi, if you're to bring friends over, how do you, or do you have any tips on how to plan a trip for other people? For other people? Yeah, mm. like a group gathering. Oh, this always... Oh, this is the hardest, that. right? The hardest. <laughs> you know, uh, me or Zoe and me, we always have different kind of uh, preference yeah. yep. during our travel, right? So mm -hmm. that also counts, you know? Yeah. So mm -hmm. usually we have to ask everyone that uh, how we can come down to the the best solution, the best yep. places or destination that mm -hmm. we all can agree to. Yeah. So yep. and then from there, the planning will be smooth. Trust right. me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you always need like for me? I was always the designated planner. So anything you know in <laughs> regards it's like to you like my... to hog everything. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Right? But it's also because I'm just like you know very scared and not not paranoid. But I'm like okay. Guys, make sure you bring your passport. Make sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. like when I was telling uh, my in-laws, when you guys come over to Sabah, make sure you have the piece of paper. Yeah. Because you're not Sabahan, so you But that is have... common sense. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, so do you need somebody to kind of be the pilot, uh, especially if you're going, the, if, especially if you're traveling in a group? Somebody has to be a pilot. Somebody has to be uh, the main person yeah. to ensure yeah. that, look, this is the activity we're doing, uh, and this is the schedule, and we, you, you either follow, follow or yeah. you can just go and do something else. Okay, typically when traveling in a big group, like mm -hmm. maybe minimum five or ten, we usually have the planner and mm -hmm. also the ketu kelas. Ah, ah <laughs> I love it! Yeah. Okay. The ketu kelas, uh, okay. atau ketu darja, whatever you yeah. want to call it. So, the, the, plan, the planner is, you know, always uh, look for the best rates, the best accommodation to stay, you know, um, the budgeting, everything, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, there we, every group of friends there, we always be that one person, yep. you know, who's really good at planning, <laughs> and budgeting, you know, okay, we have to be, you know, uh, uh, we, we can spend a little bit here, yep. but not here, you know, mm -hmm. right? And then we have always have to have the ketua kelas. Yeah. The ketua kelas is this like... This is the ketua kelas. The ketua kelas one, definitely. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> obviously, without a shadow of a doubt. Macam, uh, you bring your passport, you yeah. bring your, you know, make sure you uh, don't miss your piece of paper when yeah. you're going yeah. to uh, Yeah, make sure you, you reach the airport yeah. by this yeah. time, this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. yeah. I, I do have a question for you, Ed, because like, again, now the fact that the world is open right now, you're able to actually go out, um, especially going abroad when you want yeah. to do your travelling. Yeah. Your opinion, at least, is it better to follow a specific tour? Let's say you want to go to Turkey, Istanbul. Mm -hmm. You follow a tour that brings you around 10 days in a bus, hop on, yep. hop off, that kind yep. of thing. Or should you just go like, you know, I just want to go with my family and just go on my own. Which is better, your opinion? Okay, none of the options are better than the other mm -hmm. ah, because okay. um, it comes down to your preference mm. still, again. Okay. Because um, some people, they just want to, you know, I have a group of friends mm -hmm. Um, we, we, we just want to go holiday, travel, and well, leisurely. We don't want to, you know... Um, stick to a schedule. Mm. Yeah, uh, no, they want to stick to the schedule. Uh, uh, not stick to, to schedule, but they don't want to pening kepala. Ah, yeah. 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 All right. so, they want to have like something that's like set, done for the day, yes, set and they just follow. So right. these are the people that we go to, uh, that will be going to the travel agencies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So everybody uh, go to the scheduled things, yeah. you know, uh, but... Uh, People like like me, I prefer to go alone, mm -hmm. yeah. and I prefer to or, or, or if I go to uh, with a group of friends, I prefer to plan everything on my own because okay. you know uh, traveling is well. It's, this is very cliche. Mm -hmm. It's not about the destination; 
It's about the journey. Oh. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. yeah. True. So the yeah. planning is like you know it's very exciting. You know. So um, yeah, that's that's the difference. Yeah. So if you like planning, you like you like uh, doing research and everything. So just go on your own. Yeah, I know. I, I'm I'm the same way. Like whenever I yeah. go to a place, I don't necessarily have a set schedule of what I want to do yeah. today. But I have like set destinations I want to go. Yeah. So possibly today, like I'll plan around this destination. Uh, today, the next day I'll plan this destination. Yeah. Um, but actually coming to that, uh, I've actually been on a tour where you know I got I I was in Cambodia. I went in a bus. Obviously, yeah. I don't know you know what's happening in Cambodia. Yeah. So I decided to follow a tour. Um, do you have any tips on how to stay? Uh, how to establish relationships or make friends, you know, while you guys are traveling? Because I'm pretty sure you have, you know, bumped yeah. into or yeah. you yeah. made friends overseas while you were traveling. Yeah, yeah. So how do you maintain that relationship? Okay, um, um, I explained twice. Okay, the first one in Mexico, um, I took a tour mm -hmm. that day to this uh, frozen waterfall. It was amazing. Uh, but of course, I don't I was alone, I was backpacking alone, but I took the tour, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I didn't know anybody. So, you know, um, you just find the closest people that related to you, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Ah. Like, probably the, 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 the next, uh, the chattier yeah. Asian in the group, you know? Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I can, I can start a conversation and then you move on, mm -hmm. from, uh, moving forward from there. So um, it's the same thing. Uh, we've also I just came back from Umrah trip uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. back in March. Um, it was unintentional, but um, towards the end, everybody knows me. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow! I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Yeah. I you mean, know I... why? Yep. Because uh, in March, everything was still um, confined with technology mm -hmm. because uh, mm -hmm. you you still need to book through apps. You know, to to perform uh, some some some, uh, you, you want to enter the malls and yeah. everything. Yep. Sure. Uh, something like in Malaysia before, yeah. Right, we have you to do, use my yeah, right, yeah. right to book a right? slot yeah. and everything, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of uh, the elderly, they didn't know how to use the phone. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, you were the especially. You were the helping help. Yeah, I was uh, when I offered to one person, mm -hmm. and so everybody would come. You know, <laughs> everybody remember me. Yeah. And then towards the end, yeah, yeah. that's that's a whole lot. So the I takeaway of that, I mean, like again, try to be helpful regardless of whatever yes, the situation yes. is, yeah. and hand how you want to bring yourself forward, yeah. because again, that would make uh, matters much easier. All right, we are almost running out of time, but before that, obviously, we do want to give, uh, we want to give a chance for you to give a shout out to all of our viewers here. You know, what are your words? for them should they want to go and travel maybe something simple and where can they find you online oh okay uh, you can find me on Instagram yeah. uh, at, at Junaidi mm -hmm. or you can also find uh, the ma travel magazine that I'm working with at Gaia Travel mm -hmm. uh, you will find a lot of uh, new destination latest destination there uh, a lot of uh, travel tips and techniques and especially uh, to rarest places especially in yeah. Malaysia that we will try our best uh, to provide uh, the information to places that is less crowded yeah not the places typical cliche not the yeah. typical cliche like you know when you go to uh, you have to go to uh, when you go to Penang you really have to eat uh, Lhasa Penang you know mm. not necessarily you have there are a lot right. of other things in Malaysia oh. you can do the yeah. hidden gems, per the se. hidden gems, yes, yeah. yes. But once yes. they're on at Junaidi's uh, Instagram page, it will not be hidden anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, it won't be that hidden anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah but yeah, again, yeah. thank you so much, Ed, for coming on the yeah. show and sharing your tips with us. Yeah. Uh, so again, those of you who are traveling, regardless of uh, whatever your travel style is, yeah. um, at the end of you gotta figure yourself out whether or not you're a backpacker like myself or you a family traveler like me or. Um, do let us know on our comment section as well, freshbrew underscore RTM, on some of your uh, travel tips.